Hello Year 4, I hope you are well. Now your maths today is all about the properties of triangles because triangles can be defined or categorised into three different groups based on how many equal sides they have. So let's have a look at what triangles can be categorised in. So the first type of triangle we have are equilateral triangles. Now these triangles have three sides which are all of equal length. The clue is in its name. I always think of equilateral and I keep thinking the word equal at the beginning of it. So all they want is for their sides to be equal. The next type of triangle you can have is an isosceles triangle. Now these triangles only have two sides of equal length. So I always think of the I in isosceles triangle as one because I only really refers to one thing. When you're talking about I, so I went to the shops or I had some candy, you're only focusing on one person and that's you. So I translate that into one side that's a little bit rebellious that won't play by the rules. The third type of triangle we'll be looking at today are scalene triangles. Now these tri triangles, sorry, share no equal sides. You could almost say that every single side is unique in its own special way. So there are equilateral, isosceles and scalene triangles. There's also one other type of triangle we're going to have a quick look at as well. And these are right angle triangles. So the clue is kind of in the name because these contain one corner with an angle of exactly 90 degrees. Now these triangles can either be a scalene or an isosceles triangle as well, but they will be referred to as 90, or sorry, right angles, sorry, because they have that 90 degree angle in them. So to start you off today, I'm gonna to pose you this question because there are three triangles on the slide in front of you and I want you to tell me what is similar and what is different about these triangles. And I want you to tell me the name of each of these triangles. So remember, there is the equilateral triangle, which has three equal sides, or sorry, all its sides are equal. There are the isosceles triangle, which share two equal sides. And then there's the scalene triangle that have no equal sides. See what you can do with this. And we'll go through the answers in a moment. So as you see, there are many differences with these triangles, including they have different colors, different shapes, and different sizes, but they all do share one thing. They have three sides. But how did you do in terms of categorizing those triangles? As you can see, the triangle on the left is an isosceles triangle because it has two equal sides. The middle triangle, is an equilateral triangle as it has three equal sides or all of its sides are equal where the triangle on the right hand side is a scaling triangle as it has zero sides of equal length. Your next question is coming up now because I want you to tick the isosceles triangles represented here. Now unfortunately we have lost the B triangle but that doesn't matter. There are still some isosceles triangles in this question that I want you to tick. A quick little hint though, before you start that, is that triangles which are defined as isosceles triangles can look different, but share the same property. So give that one a go and we'll go through the answer shortly. As you can see, a and D are the isosceles triangles because both of them share two sides of equal length. And that's despite them looking slightly different. The key thing is they both have two equal sides. Your final question today is asking you to connect these dots and find out if it's true or false that you'll create a right angle triangle by doing so. So once you can see, once you've connected those dots, you do create a right angle triangle as point A has a 90 degree angle in its corner. 
What's critical to note here though is that the triangle has been represented differently because it's been tilted at a slight angle. This might seem like it shouldn't be a right angle triangle, but it still is. So it's really careful today when you're doing your work, you're wary of triangles being represented from a different position. So best of luck year four, and we'll see you soon. Take care.